Okay, shalom. Shalom. Kwam yasa alo. Koholoyim la. Yahweh. Bahasim Yahweh. Bahasim Rekahakutas. To put honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwaf. That's all here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahasim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf. It's coming at you with another quick, quick lesson praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And thought this uh, was an interesting article because when it comes to all this digital stuff, it's all leading up to Revelation 13, 16, which is the market of beauty and the beast. How they're just, you know, everything is becoming digital, you know, where they can just turn shit on, turn shit off when they want to. And this is the plan of the so-called white man, Esau Edom. That's their biblical nationality. Okay, so it says, woman gets stranded after dealership remotely disabled her car for being week late on payment you can you know this appears to be an e right let's see here let's see what she has to say uh salakia on the 4th of april today is the 9th i told them i'm gonna pay it this friday not even a week late they cut my car off and i'm at the gym right now i'm at planet fitness they cut my car off i had to call them and tell them i'm not home i'm stuck they were like, okay, we'll, deact we'll activate it so you can go home, and then we're going to cut your car off when you get back home. I don't want to have a car that has the power to cut off my car, and it's not even a week late. So I'm just, I'm going to give this car back, honestly. Okay, there you have it, man. There you have it. Um, let's see, though. Let's go back into it. Well, let me just grab the quick scripture, though, real quick. Like I said, again, it's not going to be a long, um, drawn-out lesson. i just seen this, and I'm like, hey, they've been doing stuff like this, though. And a lot of these cars are set up that way. And, you know, um, Joe Biden, they, um, you know, they want, I'm not sure if they actually put in the bill or if it's actually in um, active. Or I know with the newer cars, what they want to do is they want to have it where uh, police can have access to basically shutting the car down. I'm not sure from what um, data point or, you know, what, wherever the homing point may start from. But, um, um, you know, right now, though, still, I mean, they, any any car that's digital overall, they can they can shut that shit off. Like there was this um, this kid not that long ago. It's been maybe about a year now, but it was a kid. Um, I think he was like 10 years old. He was driving on the freeway. He was trying to get from some place here in Michigan all the way back down here to Detroit. And he was on the freeway. He was driving. And I guess people, you know, past, you know, um, people was looking. I guess he was kind of swerving a little bit here and there and stuff like that. So, you know, people looking over at him, they started to notice, okay, that's a kid. And they ended up getting in touch with authorities or whatever, whatever. And they shut that car off. And made it slowly, you know, crash into like a little um, side bank or whatever off the freeway or whatever it was. That was about a year or so ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, let me get this real quick. And this is what this man, he wants to put that in you. <laughs> See, this is who you're dealing with, man. This is how you know you, you're dealing with a very wicked, evil ass person, man. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Because who you think got the power to do some shit like that? You think a so-called black car dealership is going to cut off a white woman's um, 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 fucking car while she's at a tanning booth? Are you crazy? You know what kind of lawsuits would be? Come on, man. It would be total outrage. The so-called white man is in control of stuff like that. He's in control of the technology. He's in control of who can have the technology. That's why we always bring out that Job 9 and 24, man. <laughs> the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where? Who is he? If he's not the wicked, then who is? He's all over the fucking place sanctioning people. He's 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 um, freezing people bank accounts and shit all overseas. You know, who has the power to do shit like that other than this man? That's how we know Job 9 and 24 is talking about him. We know that the earth is in the hand of the wicked because he sh he's clearly showing his hand. That's why we always bring out that um that Psalm 68 and 4, I think, or 64 and 8, I think it is, where it talks about he'll make his own tongue to fall upon themselves. By doing stuff like this, really, in reality, what he's doing is he's telling on himself. 
in so many, you know, in a quiet way, you know, by the spirit, we pick up on it that, yeah, you telling on yourself. The average person will look at a story like this, like, oh, yeah, that's fucked up, such and such, such and such. But they won't look at the source of why it's fucked up. See, but let's get this, though. Revelation 13, 16. This is what it's all co coming down to. And this shit is coming soon because that World War Three is on, on, on jump right now. And we know that this has to happen before that. Revelation 13, 16. And he calls it all both small, great. And he calls it all both small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. See? Just think, see, if, if they could put that, if they could get that, that chip into your ass, that car company would have automatically just went ahead and guarded, garnished um, their payment out of your shit and left you broke as hell with no gas to drive it. They could have done, you know, this is what they're all breaking it down to. You know? You don't make your, 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 they're going to know. Some fucking alert or notification pop up in the computer. Yep, such and such hasn't paid their insurance and the car is moving. Such and such, such and such hasn't done this, uh, you know. They're going to have total control. When they get rid of that cash, they're going to have c total control over everybody with that goddamn chip, man. This is why it's so important that you repent. We keep telling our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you have to repent. Because we're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28. That's the reason why you see it's a so-called black woman. Don't get me wrong. They're going to be doing it to these Edomites, too, because, see, these Edomites are starting to fall under those curses. They're starting to fall under those curses, too. But... The people that shit like this gets done to the most, the people that's getting the worst of services, the people that, you know, don't have no voice, no say, no nothing. It's the it's the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. And I'm sure she probably went there. They probably got these, you know, they, they you know, predatory, predatory loans and, you know, fucking interest rate probably through the damn roof. But, you know, Jake need a vehicle. Jake trying to get around. He trying to get back and forth to work in this man's wicked ass kingdom. And he's got the ability to cut your damn car off, man. <laughs> anyway, let me get that Job out of 24 since I, I quoted it. You can't, hey, you have to know this man is the wicked. Because that's some wicked ass shit to do. She done called you and told you that she's going to pay you by Friday. And another thing with these Edomites too. Say for instance, now the scripture says that you're not supposed to hold a person's pay overnight. When a person is done with his work for the day, you should be paying him. Now, if they had been doing it, if, if they were, if Esau, which will make you put your hand on the Bible, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. If he was doing that, then people wouldn't have no problems with really making payments on anything because you'll have your money every day. And see, the longer they hold your money, the more your money builds up, the more taxes they can take out. As opposed to if they was taxing you daily. You know what I'm saying? It will be a lot less as your your you know than your your you know you getting a, a a check every two weeks, a check every week. What kind of shit is that? I don't work for you. You got what you needed out of me. Why are you holding on to my pay? You have it. You got all this digital shit. Why can't you direct deposit my money into my bank account? I should be seeing that shit on the hour. Matter of fact, every 15 minutes. You see what I'm saying? If you make $10 an hour, you should be able to look at your phone and see, yep, every 15 minutes go by, you just made $2.50. $2.50. Every 15 minutes go by, $2.50. That adds up to 10 Every hour, you should be seeing that money in your bank account already. Why can't they do it? Why are they holding on to your funds? See, but this is the wickedness that this man performs, man. That's how we know that this scripture fits his ass to the T because he's running shit. He's the one that's in control of these wicked ass decrees. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? This earth, this whole planetary hookup is in their hands. They're the ones that's all out in space. They're the ones that's all in the oceans. They're the ones that's all in the damn mountains. You name it. They everywhere running shit, regulating shit, telling who can go where and where they can go and what time they can go. And, and motherfucker, he giving you time. He's giving you weather. 
He's telling you tomorrow the uh, humidity is going to be 44 percent. This and um, it's, it, you're going to get a slight little drizzle of rain here. And, uh, you know, there's going to be a sheet of ice, uh, black ice. Be careful. This motherfucker is in control of the weather. He can actually create weather. <laughs> so you can't tell me that this man is not the wicked man. Because, again, like I said, if people was getting their pay every day, a lot a lot of people would, would be a lot better off. Even if you say you didn't have a, a place to stay, you know, you, you didn't have a, like a permanent home. Right. But if you had a job, you could pay for a room every day. You know, you find a little cheap hotel or something like that. You know what I'm saying? If you getting paid, you know, let's say you getting paid a hundred a day. Shit, I mean, you know, it, it's costly, but shit, at least you can throw this motherfucker uh, $50 for the night and be out of the weather. <laughs> you know, this man holding on to your bread like you you ain't done nothing. That shit is wicked as hell. The scriptures talks about that's wicked, man. Matter of fact, it says that you're a bloodshedder by doing that. That's what the scripture says, man. So this is Esau, and it's not surprising. And this is why we need out of this man's kingdom. And see, he has shown no mercy, so he's not going to get no mercy. And people just be thinking that we just some angry so-called black men. No, we're teaching the scriptures. This is the Lord is mad at this man. So we're mad at him, too. The Lord said, hey, he said, to love the good and hate the evil, right? This fucker is evil. We hate this shit, man. We hate his ass, just like our Lord do. Don't the scriptures say, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated? The Lord hates Esau because of the, he's the wicked, man. He's the wicked. I don't even have to even, you know. <laughs> you can see she a young, um, a young E. You know, she she said she at the gym. She looking a little on the pudgy, pudgy side, but she at the gym trying to get right. Shit, what the fuck, bro? This shit is crazy, bro. Let's see here, though. Uh, let me get this part. It says, if this seems like some sort of dystopian nightmare, there are car, de car dealerships that do indeed sell newer models that can disable vehicles if payments are not kept current on, on the vehicle. Hey, I just done, I done a lesson maybe about, I don't know, a few months back where they basically, you know, they you know, coming up with systems where the damn car can drive its own self to a remote spot where it can be picked up or drive itself to a repo place. They had it where um, I think the very first day, if you didn't, you know, if you went past your payment um, um, date or whatever, I think the first day it starts to make like an alarm noise or some shit. And then after something that goes by, you know, you lose access to your, you know, your um, Bluetooth and radio, your GPS and all that shit that's in the cars. Then um, another week, some shit go by and then they just completely shut the car off. So they're, you know. Esau is out here, man. He's just like, fuck you, your situation. He don't even want you to be able to use the car to get back and forth to work to even try and get him the payment. This man is wicked, man. Okay, it says, according to Poe, yes, car dealerships have the ability to remotely disable vehicles if payments is not made. This is done through the use of devices such as starter interrupters or GPS trackers. See, this is why I don't want no new car. I like them. Yeah, they got some dope cars, don't get me wrong, but you better, hey, that's why in um, iRobot, then you see Will Smith, what did he have? He had a gas-powered motorcycle. <laughs> the chick was surprised he had it, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is dangerous. Everything was ran by what? Computers, man. Everything was ran by AI or some type of chip or something. And those movies that they used to show back in the days, too, it's a lot of movies Esau was coming out with, man, to show you that this is what shit was coming to. Right now, and, and we're about there. We're, we're pretty much it's happening. It says these devices can be installed in a vehicle and controlled by the dealership or lender. If a payment is missed, the dealership can remotely shut off the car, making it inoperable until the payment is made. That's crazy, bro. The website cited this CBS news piece discussing this very same phenomenon, which also highlighted how dealerships may also give customers a warning notice beforehand. Prior to shutting off the vehicle, the YouTube video also posted the CBS Morning Channel highlights the specialized device that is installed on automobiles, which can disable them remotely by auto lenders. According to the core post, which delves into the particular type of phenomenon, this practice. 
Slovakia. This practice is often implemented by buy here, pay here lots. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. According to users who replied to a question about these types of modules being installed on vehicles, says, oh, yes, they can most certainly immobilize your vehicle and GPS track its location. Many buy here, pay here lots install these devices so that if you don't pay, they can shut you down and collect, collect their vehicle. He went on to explain that many high risk lenders also do this. In this particular core user's instance, the dealer, they purchased their car cash from left, cash from left the device on his car. Hold on. It says, in this particular core user's instance, the, de the dealer, they purchased their car cash from left the device on his car and he only discovered it was installed in the vehicle upon noticing her had had trouble starting the car. It wasn't until he went rummaging through the insides of the car that he noticed there wasn't a contraption that wasn't exactly stock bolted onto his newly purchased whip. Crazy, bro. It says, I bought a GMC Envoy from a used car dealer a few years back. I paid cash, so no loan. About a week later, I was having trouble starting it. I saw a module screwed to the knee bolster on the bottom of the dashboard and followed the wiring under the dash where I found the remote kill GPS tracking unit. Numerous commenters who responded to uh, Legacy's video didn't seem to have much sympathy for her predicament. One person simply pinned that she should get better credit so she wouldn't have to purchase cars from lenders who engage in this type of practice. Another said she shouldn't be surprised her car was turned off in the first place because even though it wasn't even a week late, it was still not paid on time, but it's late. But she called the dealership. You know, there, 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 there used to be a such thing as a grace period. And speaking on grace period, hey, that, that, that's the way the, the Lord is about to get the shutting shit down too, right? To all you, you, you damn Christians out here, which are with saved by grace, you better understand that grace gives you a, a period to get something right. So, say for instance, she should have had she she spoke to him over the phone. She says that you know she would make the payment by Friday. So the grace call up to Friday at Friday the grace is over with they shut the damn car off and that's what the Lord is about to start doing to you um, a lot of you Israelites man that, you see the door of grace is closing don't let none of these Christians these so called white people tell you that you're already saved by grace that's not true that shit is not scriptural the Lord didn't give you no license to go around out here and, and act a goddamn fool man to be wicked and be damn demons so sorcerers and witches and and, and fucking just wicked, man. And that just comes to mind as I'm reading this. Grace. But there used to be a point where you had a grace period to pay for things. It's not like that no more. People are greedy as hell. They're inconsiderate. Especially Esau. Esau don't give a shit, man. And a lot of these cars, it's like, it, I don't even know why this, this chick even done this, but it's an employee um, that I work with. She said that she had an 84, a 84, what the fuck she say? I think an 84 month payment. I'm like, you about to pay, you paying seven, I think she said like $800 for eight, 84 fucking months. I'm like, that car not going, that car's a piece of shit. <laughs> but, but she didn't know no better. That's why a lot of women need husbands and husbands that know some shit. Not just some simp ass nigga that don't know how to change a car tire. Apostle said all the time, man, he checking under the hood. He coming with his own um, um, diagnostic um, um, <laughs> hookup, man. He plugging in. We want to test drive. Anyway, so these people, you know, but, but, but you know, these comments are more likely Esau. It says there was one TikToker who simply just couldn't understand financing a vehicle where a lender has the ability to remotely disable it. What kind of car y'all be having? Where they can cut it off, they pondered. <laughs> hey, but people, see, they, 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 you know, people are, you know, especially Jake. It's, it's no different than these, these check cashing places. Get your check, you know, um, um, a week beforehand. You can go and they was even talking about that here too, where I'm at in Michigan. Um, there, a lot of these um check cashing, or um um, check loan places basically, they're about to leave Michigan because they, they came up with a new law where, hey, y'all been predatory, man. 
Y'all can't do that shit to people. Y'all charging more than these people can. As a matter of fact, they were saying that these people could never actually pay off the debt. In a lot of cases. And that's Esau, Edom in general, just with his, his, his dollar. How could, how could America be, uh, you know, $100 trillion in debt? <laughs> you see? So this man, he, he's notorious for just, you know, um, wicked practices, man. And you're not going to get nothing no better from him. The scripture says to never trust thine enemy. I don't trust Esau. I'm not going to no fucking car dealership, man. Pretty much every vehicle I done bought over the years, past couple of decades, whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm generally, you know, speaking with somebody about it, you know, I'm, you know, I'm you know, running across them. I've actually bought decent vehicles off um, Craigslist. You go through, yeah, you you know, you you know, you you check the car out, shit. You give it a test. You drive it. You go under the hood. You do, you know, uh, you know, you even hey, if you know a mechanic, it's best to take a mechanic, which watch up, you know, one of my brothers with me. He, he a little, you know, know a lot more about cars than I do. He's actually a mechanic. So shit, you do something like that. Even if you gotta pay a mechanic, they ride with me. You know what I'm saying? Take me to check on this car. I throw you, you know. Whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's better to do that than to be driving away with a fucking lemon. But I don't want none of this new shit. I don't want no new, you know, I, I, I got a new. You know if it's. There's a huge headache. She ain't even say how much she paying monthly. I seen one dude, he was like, shit, he paid $1,100 a month for a truck. And that's not including insurance. I'm like, you what? Gas three and some change, four and some change, five and some change. How you how you doing that? He's stressed. Working two, three jobs. They're driving the damn truck into the damn ground to these jobs. And it ain't, ain't worth shit now because you done put all kinds of miles and, and, and wear and tear on this shit, man. Anyway. <sighs> okay, it says, do you own or have ever owned a car that would allow a dealership to remotely disable it is that something you're going to be checking your finance agreement carefully for before signing the dotted line for a new vehicle would this kind of practice make you reluctant to purchase a vehicle from somewhere you know I go, what you want some data you want that's what you're trying to get you want to do a survey Here's some more articles, too. Uh, let me see. And these are generally women, man. I tell you, boy. Let me see here. Y'all women, y'all need some men. This lady said, I just moved into a new home and car was towed overnight. I was told permit was expired and charged $470, but had proof. Crazy, bro. That's enough, man, If somebody come out and be um, letting them things go on you. This chick says... Woman sheds light on financial stress caused by monthly payments for cars in viral video. See? How much was you paying? <laughs> hey, this right here says a lot right here. Let me get this part right here. Um, it says, as a majority of Americans are opting to finance their car purchases via easy credit, they borrowed a staggering $165 billion for this purpose in the fourth quarter of 2023 alone. Choo! Go Google it, go. Nah, man, it's best you put you a couple of dollars together. You know, hell, you got to catch that goddamn bus, catch that bus. <laughs> Whatever transportation you got in your city, you catch that shit. It could be a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, discouraging sometimes, I would say. <laughs> but, man, shit, you ride that bus and you put them checks up, man. You get you something. You go and get you something. And stop living beyond your goddamn means. Because a lot of women, they going out here, you know, and men too. You just going to get some shit for the looks, man. I don't care about none of that shit, man. It's day-to-day -day process, man. I'm trying to keep that boy running smoothly. Oil changes on time. You know, uh, engine check light come on. You going to see what's popping with that shit. You know, and just keeping what you have running smoothly. Because we're living day-to-day. -day. We're just waiting on our Lord, man. Oh, this I need a Hellcat. A Hebrew and a Hellcat. Nah, I'm straight. Uh, drugs on the street. What? 
the fuck kind of shit is this? Police officers allegedly raped 13-month-old who suffered broken bones and severe bru... What? Look at this, this motherfucker, man. Look at this. I'm going to have to do a lesson on this. <laughs> this hey, but this Esau. He allegedly raped a 13... How are you raping a 13-month-old? Man, what the fuck? Man, I ain't gonna even go off into that right off. Let me um I wanted to grab a couple of these comments in this this story real quick. This person says, I don't want to have a car that has the power to cut off have the power to cut off my car. And it's not even a week late. Well the dealership doesn't want customers that don't pay when payments are due. This person says it's not your car yet. <laughs> Hey, says how many times have you been late with the payment? That detail has seen has seems to be omitted. I highly doubt this is her first time being late. Well, that might be the case. Who knows? Hey, they normally have late fees though. I mean, it's just like you know where you live. You don't pay the rent on by a certain time. I think they give you like a five day grace period. Again, there to go that word grace again. Then after those five days. Hey, if some some um, rental properties they'll tack on some more money, but then it comes to a point where hey, they coming to throw your ass out of there, you know? Sheriff's popping up, knocking on the door. She mentioned talking to them after it was cut off, but most importantly, did she talk to them before it was an issue? They tend to work with you. Nah, nah. I think she, the story says she did though. She said she she said in the video that she had spoken with him. This person says if you don't pay for it, it's not yours. It's not yours until it's paid off. Well, let's let's take that in for instance, you know, because you you so called white people that's doing shit like this. This country is not yours. You stole this country. You haven't made one payment on it. You haven't made one payment to the people that actually built it up for you. How's about that? You know, you're a damn thief. <laughs> and, and motherfucker got the nerve to do it. See, you know when people do shit like this, they they're trying to um divert a thief. You know who the best um people that do shit like that? Thieves. Why do you think FBI and CIA um organizations and shit like that they hire hackers and hire um criminals? See? So Esau's a damn joke, man. Joke hey, hey, Esau, man, you bought out of here, bro. We bought you, 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 you bought out of here. We bought out of here. You're never gonna be able to do nothing like this ever again, man. Motherfucker won't even give you your pay every day. You don't work the job, then done the the labor that they that they want it done, and then this motherfucker will hold your check for a week and then tax it. Then once it's taxed, what they give you left, motherfucker taxing you on some other shit while you're spending it. Crazy, bro. This motherfucker gotta go. Anyway, with that, I pray the lesson was edifying. Come on, y'all,